The planet Saturn has captivated our imaginations for centuries. With its majestic rings and beautiful colors, it's no wonder it's been a subject of fascination for astronomers and scientists alike. But Saturn isn't just a beautiful planet. It's also home to dozens of moons, each with their own unique characteristics and secrets waiting to be unlocked. Studying Saturn's moons is important because by exploring these fascinating objects, we can gain a better understanding of the history and evolution of our solar system. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun and it's one of the gas giants in our solar system. It's about 1.4 billion kilometers from the Sun and it takes about 29 Earth years to complete one orbit around it. The atmosphere of Saturn is mostly made up of hydrogen and helium and it's known for its beautiful cloud formations and weather patterns. But what makes Saturn really special are its moons. There are over 80 known moons orbiting the planet, each with their own unique characteristics and features. In this video, we'll be exploring some of the most interesting and unique characteristics of Saturn's moons. From their physical features to their atmospheres, we'll delve into the secrets of these mysterious objects. So sit back, relax, and get ready to explore the wonders of Saturn's moons. Saturn is a giant planet with over 80 known moons orbiting around it. These moons are classified based on their size, composition, and distance from the planet. The largest of Saturn's moons are called the major moons, and there are five of them, Titan, Rhea, Iapetus, Dion, and Tethys. The next group of moons are the medium-sized moons, which are typically less than 300 kilometers in diameter. Some of the most well-known medium-sized moons include Enceladus, Mimas, and Hyperion. These moons are important for scientific research due to their unique features and compositions. Enceladus, for example, is an icy moon with an ocean beneath its surface, which makes it a prime target for studying the potential for life beyond Earth. Mimas, on the other hand, is known for its distinctive Death Star appearance due to a large impact crater on its surface. Hyperion is an irregularly shaped moon that rotates chaotically, making it difficult to study. In addition to the major and medium-sized moons, there are also a large number of smaller moons orbiting Saturn. These moons are typically less than 10 kilometers in diameter and are mostly composed of ice and rock. Saturn's moons provide a wealth of information about the formation and evolution of the planet and its surrounding environment. Studying these moons helps us understand more about the history of our solar system and the potential for life beyond Earth. Characteristics of Saturn's Moons Saturn's moons come in a variety of shapes and sizes, with some of the largest being almost as big as planets themselves. Titan, for example, is the largest of Saturn's moons, with a diameter of 5,150 kilometers, making it the second largest moon in the solar system. Many of Saturn's moons are also notable for their unique surface features. For instance, Enceladus is known for its geysers, which shoot jets of water and ice particles hundreds of kilometers into space. These geysers are thought to be caused by hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor, which could provide conditions that could support life. Another interesting feature is on Titan, which is the only moon in the solar system with a substantial atmosphere. This atmosphere is mostly composed of nitrogen, but also contains traces of methane and other hydrocarbons. The presence of these hydrocarbons is believed to be related to the formation of organic compounds, which could potentially lead to the development of life. In addition to these features, Titan also has lakes and rivers made up of liquid methane and ethane. These hydrocarbons have formed due to the extreme cold and pressure on the moon's surface. Mimas, another one of Saturn's moons, has a distinctive appearance, with a large crater on its surface that gives it a Death Star-like appearance. This crater, which is about 130 kilometers in diameter, is believed to have been caused by a massive impact that almost shattered the moon. Saturn's moons have a wide range of physical characteristics, each with their own unique features and mysteries. Studying these features can provide valuable insight into the formation and evolution of our solar system, as well as the potential for life beyond Earth. Composition of Saturn's Moons The composition of Saturn's moons varies greatly depending on the specific moon being studied. However, most of Saturn's moons are primarily composed of ice and rock. The exact composition of each moon can provide valuable information about its formation and history. Scientists study the composition of these moons by analyzing data collected by spacecraft sent to explore them. For example, data collected by the Cassini spacecraft revealed that Titan's surface is primarily made up of water ice and organic compounds. 
Similarly, data from the Voyager spacecraft showed that Enceladus has a surface layer of water ice and organic materials. The interior structure of Saturn's moons is also of interest to scientists. For example, the gravity field of the moon Mimas was measured by the Cassini spacecraft, revealing that it has a rocky core surrounded by a thick layer of ice. This suggests that the moon may have undergone a period of heating that caused the ice to melt and refreeze around the rocky core. Titan, on the other hand, has a subsurface ocean of liquid water and ammonia beneath its icy crust. Scientists believe that this ocean could potentially support life, making Titan an important target for further exploration. The composition of Saturn's moons provides valuable insights into the history and evolution of our solar system. By studying their interior structures and surface materials, scientists can gain a better understanding of how these moons were formed and how they have changed over time. Atmospheres and Environments of Saturn's Moons The atmospheres of Saturn's moons are quite diverse, with some having no atmosphere at all, while others have thick, complex atmospheres. Titan, for instance, has a substantial atmosphere composed primarily of nitrogen, with trace amounts of methane and other hydrocarbons. This atmosphere is thought to be similar in many ways to the early Earth's atmosphere, making Titan a particularly interesting target for the study of astrobiology. Other moons, such as Mimas and Tethys, have very thin atmospheres composed primarily of oxygen and carbon dioxide. These atmospheres are thought to be created by the bombardment of the moon's surfaces by high-energy particles from the Sun and Saturn's magnetic field. The interaction between the atmosphere of a moon and its environment can also be quite complex. For instance, the harsh radiation environment around Titan is thought to play a significant role in the formation of the moon's complex organic chemistry. Additionally, the presence of a subsurface ocean on Enceladus has led to the formation of geysers that spew water and ice particles into space, which then become part of Saturn's magnetosphere. The environments of Saturn's moons can also be quite unique. For example, Titan's surface is covered in hydrocarbon lakes and rivers, while Enceladus has an ocean beneath its icy crust that is heated by tidal forces. These environments provide potential habitats for life and offer valuable insights into the processes that shape planetary bodies in our solar system. The study of the atmospheres and environments of Saturn's moons provides valuable information about the formation and evolution of our solar system, as well as the potential for the development of life beyond Earth. Scientific Research and Discoveries the study of Saturn's moons has been a significant focus of scientific research in recent years, leading to numerous important discoveries. For instance, the Cassini mission provided detailed information on the composition and geology of many of Saturn's moons, including Enceladus, Titan, and Mimas. One of the most significant discoveries to come out of the study of Saturn's moons is the potential for the development of life. For example, the subsurface ocean on Enceladus and the hydrocarbon lakes on Titan offer potential habitats for microbial life, and scientists are actively exploring these possibilities. In addition to the search for life, the study of Saturn's moons can help scientists understand the history and evolution of the solar system. By examining the composition and interior structure of these moons, scientists can gain valuable insights into the processes that led to their formation and evolution over time. Future missions to Saturn's moons, such as the upcoming Dragonfly mission to Titan, are expected to provide even more information and insights into these fascinating worlds. Dragonfly will be the first mission to explore Titan's surface using a drone, allowing for detailed mapping and analysis of the moon's complex geology and organic chemistry. The study of Saturn's moons is an essential part of our ongoing exploration of the solar system. By continuing to study these fascinating worlds, scientists can gain a better understanding of the processes that shaped our cosmic neighborhood and the potential for life beyond Earth. Saturn's moons offer a wealth of scientific information and potential for the development of life beyond Earth. By examining the physical characteristics, composition, atmospheres, and environments of these moons, scientists can gain valuable insights into the formation and evolution of the solar system. Recent scientific discoveries, such as the potential for life on Enceladus and Titan, highlight the importance of continuing to study Saturn's moons. Future missions, like the upcoming Dragonfly mission, offer even more opportunities to expand our knowledge of these fascinating worlds. As we continue to explore and study the cosmos, the study of Saturn's moons will undoubtedly play an essential role in our understanding of the universe and our place in it. 
So, if you're interested in the mysteries of the solar system, I encourage you to learn more about these fascinating objects and follow future scientific discoveries in this area. Thank you for watching.